Okay, we're going to look at one more problem where we are multiplying polynomials. This time, um, it's a binomial times a trinomial. Okay, again, binomial means you have two terms, and trinomial means you have three terms. So for a problem like this, if you use the area model, um, you would need to make sure your rectangle fit the number of terms that you have. So instead of having a two by two like we did in the other problems, you're gonna have a two by three rectangle. And so this again will act as your length, so five x plus three, and this polynomial will act as your width. And again, we're multiplying those to equal our area or our product. So I'd have two x squared minus six x minus four. Okay, now when I find the areas, again, I think it will help yourself, this term here, to write it as 5x to the power of 1. When I multiply these, I'm going to multiply the coefficients. 5 times 2 is going to give me 10. Then when I multiply the exponents, x to the power of 1 times x to the power of 2, what happens is the exponents add. And so this would give you x to the power of 3. When we go on to find the area of this next box, um, we're going to be multiplying 5x to the power of 1 times negative 6x to the power of 1. Let's focus on the coefficients first. 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. x to the power of 1 times x to the power of 1. When we add those powers, we get x squared. 5x times negative 4 is going to be negative 20x. You can put the power of 1 if you want, but it's not needed. Down here, 3 times 2x squared is 6x squared. 3 times negative 6x is negative 18x. And lastly, 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. Okay, so we found each of the individual areas in our box, or in our model. Now we're going to add them together. However, we can only really combine like terms. So you may notice that these two terms can be combined because they're both x squared terms. And also, these two terms can be combined because they're both x terms. So our final product or area would equal, if we start with the highest powered term, it would be 10x to the power of 3. Then we have negative 30 plus 6, that would give us negative 24, and this is the number of x squareds we have. And then we have negative 18 and negative 20, that would be negative 38, that's the number of x's we have. And then finally our constant is negative 12, so this would be our overall answer. You could also do this with the distributive property. Um, in, instead of creating this model, you would just begin by multiplying the 5x times each term in the parentheses, okay? And again, you bet you'd get the same three terms that we got in our first uh, row of our area model. And then you would distribute the three into each of the three terms. And again, when you do that, you would notice that you would get all the terms here in the second row. Okay, and then again you would add those together. So either method is going to give you the same product.